What are the pros and cons for renting in St. Augustine, Florida? We're gonna go step by step. Maybe we'll start with the cons first and then go with the pros. You want the good news or the bad news first? Well, my name is Josh Rogers and I lead the F3 home team, which stands for faith, family, and freedom. That's our core values. So if that's important to you, you've come to the right place. As we spend a little more time together on this video, my hope is that I'll bring enough value to you that we'll earn a little bit of trust and then you'll reach out to my real estate team and I so we can come along and help you through that transition if it is renting or eventually buying. Also, I wanna encourage you, join our Facebook group. It's called Moving to St. John's County. The link is below. There's a lot of families all over the country that are very similar to you and they're asking some really good questions and sharing advice as they're looking to make the move. All right, let's jump into the cons of renting in St. Augustine, Florida. In no particular order, we'll just kind of do rapid fire. So first off, I'd say you probably have less options, meaning there's not a huge inventory of rentals available for you to choose from. So beggars can't be choosers, and a lot of times when it comes to choosing a rental, you're really settling more than anything. Renting tends to be a temporary solution, so a lot of people that are looking to rent accept that fact and just move on with something that works. Also, along those lines, rentals generally are not highly upgraded or in really great condition. So if you have incredibly high expectations and standards, Generally, that's gonna be a pain point whenever you're looking to rent. Another downside of renting is simply instability. Now that's instability with payments because payments can fluctuate and adjust. Very rarely do rental payments go down. We definitely see them increasing. Nothing's worse than re-extending your lease and the landlord coming and saying, hey, we're gonna to have to increase your rent by $200 a month. So that instability and payments is definitely a pain point. It's just a factor, all right? It's a possibility. And then also instability with your timeline. So maybe you have a year lease or a two year lease and you, you're nearing the end of that lease and you want to extend it. Well, the landlord may decide that either they wanna move back into it or they wanna sell it. And so then you're forced to have to sell that's not on your timeline. So that could blindslide you and catch you off guard. Another con of renting is not being settled in your community. And what I mean by that is oftentimes when someone is renting, it's a temporary mindset and you know there's going to be a change in the future. So you may be a little hesitant to get really plugged into the community, hesitant to really build meaningful relationships with neighbors. Also maybe hesitant plugging into the school with the kids because it's possible that that school situation may change or church or sports or clubs. So depending on the situation, that sense of being unsettled may not feel well for a lot of people and create this friction point or this downside of renting. I know this to be true because when talking to some families that have been renting for a while and they're just kind of over it, you'll hear phrases like, you know, I really want to settle down or I want to get established or plant my root. And so that's what they're referring to. One of the benefits of owning a home is that you can customize and tweak and renovate and upgrade and make your home your own along with the yard. And so on the flip side, the downside of renting is that you don't own the home and oftentimes the landlord or owner is not gonna allow you to make any customizations. And so it's just, it's just not yours and you can't make it yours. And I know a lot of people that buy homes really look forward to being able to upgrade and renovate and add their own customizations. I think what I'm about to say is a real thing and I think it's fair to mention, although I don't totally buy into it, but the concept of the American dream of home ownership has been instilled in all of us. And so for someone to be renting, probably not something that they take a lot of pride in. There may be some type of unspoken or underlying embarrassment. So I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but I think some people may be embarrassed to say that they're renting. And so that's kind of like an intangible um, mental feeling that some people may have, which definitely would be associated as a negative of renting. And the last con of renting, you're probably surprised that I haven't said it yet, is that those monthly payments are just going strictly to the cost of living and it's not building any type of investment or equity. So rent is a true and pure cost 
Whereas whenever you're buying a home and you're making those mortgage payments, although the payment, very little of it goes to principal, there is that building of equity, longer term investment that's happening over time, over a long time. So renting, whenever you stroke that check to the landlord, you can see it goodbye. You'll hear people say it's like throwing money out the window or you're paying off the landlord's mortgage, making them rich. Why flush money down the toilet? Those are all things that it's very common to hear about renting versus buying. You know, I do have to say there are a bunch of nuances and a lot of details missing through those arguments, but I can say long-term for my family and I, we've lived in our home for about 14 years. We were able to pay down the mortgage and the home has doubled since then. So right now we live in a modest house and the equity, the value of the home is about $500,000. So the benefit of buying versus renting longer term is now if we needed to access that equity by selling our home or taking a loan against the home, that's all money that we have accumulated through putting it into this asset that we own. All right, now let's talk about the pros, the positives of renting. You don't largely hear about what a great idea it is to rent. And I'm gonna give you a nice, strong, legit list of compelling reasons renting does make sense. And first off, let's just say the cost of entry. So the cost of entry to rent is a lot of times going to be a security deposit, first month's rent, sometimes last month's rent. And then if you have a pet, there's gonna be a pet deposit as well. So compared to buying a home, where you have a 3% down payment, 5% down payment, or even 20% down payment. Let's just take the median price for homes in St. Augustine, round number of $500,000. If you were to put a 20% down payment on a $500,000 home, that's $100,000 to buy a home. Well, if you don't have that, or if you don't want to spend that, renting is a wonderful option because for just a couple thousand dollars of first last month's rent security deposit then you're in a home and you don't have to come up or save all that money now this is really interesting right now in this market while interest rates are hovering around six and a half to seven percent right now this video is shot in the summer of 2024 if we take the median rental payments versus the median mortgage payments which one do you think is going to come out on top which is gonna be the less expensive route. So check this out. Median rental payment payments for single family homes in St. Augustine is around $2,400 per month. Now to buy a home, $500,000 home, put $100,000 down payment. So now you're taking out a mortgage on $400,000 at a 6.5% interest rate, and you add on taxes, insurance, HOA fees, that total monthly mortgage payment is around $3,500 a month. So the positive of renting is a $1,000 a month savings on your monthly payment compared to buying a home. So without a doubt, if you can't afford that, or if you just simply don't wanna pay it, renting comes out high on the list of affordability. And to piggyback the cost of renting versus the cost of home ownership, when the hot water heater goes out on your rental, you don't have to worry about it. The landlord often takes care of it. Whenever any of the appliances or the air conditioning, or maybe the exterior needs to be repainted, that's something that you don't have to worry about. So not only are you incurring the cost of those repairs, but you're also not dealing with the stress and the time it takes to address those repairs. This is incredibly convenient. And I think I'll just jump in right now and say the biggest benefit of renting is convenience. So two points of convenience around renting means that it's a temporary situation. You know, if things are up in the air with your life and you don't really know what's gonna happen two to three years from this moment, it's a great option to rent. That way you have the freedom and the flexibility to pivot if things change. Also, if you're new to the area and you eventually wanna become established in the area, renting may be a great idea for that first year for you to get a feel for the different locations, communities, and surroundings. It's kinda of like a try it before you buy it temporary situation. And if you're brand spanking new, this could be a wonderful option for you. You know, it occurred to me that I didn't really point out when we were discussing the differences in the monthly rental payment versus homeownership payment. A big reason for that difference is that for rentals, you're not having to pay property taxes 
or homeowner's insurance or HOA fees. So whenever you do own a home, those are all things that you're responsible for and that affects the monthly payment in a big way. Ultimately, what's best for you and your family and your goals is all that matters. If you feel like renting is the right idea for you right now, reach out to my team and I. We come across single family home rentals a lot and they go very quickly. So we may be able to connect you with the right property before it ever hits the public. Now, definitely in the next video you need to watch are the pros and cons of buying a house.